Hey, what's up you guys? Welcome back. In today's update we're going to do is a video on Shiba Inu. So Shiba right now is trading at 0 0.00001337 24 hour volume we are up 86.92%. Market cap we are down 6.43%. So heading over to the chart here, we're going to go through 3 day interval, 1 day and then 4 hours. So already with our Fib chart, we can see from this highest peak in the last candlestick exceeded as high as 8 of course, with this impulse of um, the price, it triggered a RSI at 100 for our K and our D at 96, 98%. Of course, at the very top of the Bollinger Band number two hint is we're considered to be oversold. We were going to have a pullback and price was going to come back down. Where price actually led to, instead of the 38% for today, it's actually coming down to the 50%. Now, as for the 50% here, we don't really see a whole lot of support except for the last candlestick. And we're going to see some areas for support and resistance line, but also measure the momentum in a lower time frame. So what we can see on the actual MACD for momentum, we can see that the bars are really nicely spaced out here, really good in size as well. However, we do see some weakness as the colors are lightening up and we can pair it off with the same aggression as the price was coming up here. The price was moving some sideways wasn't really as an impulse or price accelerated as high until the momentum hit this green indicator here at an area of a resistance. So we can see multiple areas where these candlesticks were rejected down, but only until it actually switched over into a darker green momentum, volume started to pick up in this interval of three days. Now, as we are coming down, we can see here this lighter color. We may be playing defense mode for SHIB until we can be able to get more bigger colors or sorry, um, this darker green and stay within this bar here. If we see smaller bars and there are darker green, it just says that the momentum itself is slowing down and it may actually reverse into more of a bear market and we see red candles there. So going into more of a day, we can see that pullback as the candlesticks are coming down. We see this pull, we see the Bollinger Bands reacting, they're narrowing. So a consolidation was going to occur and we do see it in fact so as the price actually exploded where we can see the um, Bollinger Bands reacted what's actually going to happen is we're going to see a pinch again in the Bollinger Bands <clears throat> basically letting us know that the trend may be over and we may break out another in an uptrend or we may break out in a downtrend here so where it is alarming to see is this gray line which is our 20 MA itself the price is found near it. We can see already really nice support for a support area for 20 MA for the price of SHIB bouncing really nicely on here. If for whatever reason we close below the 20 MA, it is going to actually break this uptrend and we're going to retrace downwards. We're most likely going to retrace closer to the 61% um, percent of our FIB. We can see right there on our volume indicator, it's right on the outskirts of the supply and demand and hopefully, hopefully hold this area for support. On a daily time frame, we can see a few areas of candlestick wicks retracing closer to this area of supply. If we do not hold that, depending on how strong the current is of the MACD, this is going to be our next interval of where price is going to hit roughly around the 1082 area. If we take a look at our RSI and our MACD indicator, we can be able to see that the RSI itself is coming down here at zero and 7%. Um, we can see lightness of the color of the MACD as well. So we can anticipate near an area of support that the price may actually slice right through it, depending if we're able to hold it. If we're able to hold this green indicator and we see an expansion of the lines, then that is going to be an indicator where we're going to hold here and then create another higher, higher, peak or actually challenge this area of resistance. Going into an area of four hours time interval for SHIB, 
Let's take a look here. So we can see the RSI here is at 94, considered to be overbought, and then we have 64. However, it doesn't really signal so much of a sell trade because we haven't seen the two lines cross over, but when that does happen, then price is gonna come back down. But take a look at our momentum of our MACD indicator. It's in the red. So even though our RSI is here and it's going to signal that we may drop, it always depends on the momentum. As the momentum for SHIB right now is showing us lightness in the color at an area that we have been holding on support on this line here at the at the 1264 price is going to come back down if the momentum for the macd increases in the color and the bars so if it's a darker red and increases in the bars we're going to go straight through this you guys and we're going to come back down here at again 1194 area so that area of support um judging by the momentum i'm hoping it does cross over and we hold the support here and then challenge the next resistance line that we saw at the very top here at the 1802 so that is my video for ship you guys thank you so much for watching and i'll see you next time